Israelites in the in the land of Samaria that were Israelites that that used to run to Samaria for refuge whenever they would be they were about to be judged by the law and they didn't you know they didn't want to be judged by the law so they would run for refuge among those Samaritans that's why Yahweh Shai went there ancient boxing uh oh ancient boxing boxing right Floyd Mayweather look at that They knuckling up right there. You know, so you know, so this this is the reason. And you gotta remember this this was in the ancient world they were doing the same thing. During the time of the Roman Empire, you had Jakes that were gladiators fighting in the arenas, you know. Uh um, walking around with togas. Yeah, the Apostle <laughs> Paul made a statement, and said I fight I not as one that beat the air. So was it, you know, like a guy that's throwing haymakers? I think that's what they call him, haymakers, right? He, yeah, he he used uh, he used references of the Olympics because the Olympics were big back then. Yeah, he used um, running uh, boxing uh, reference to boxing, reference to wrestling, re reference to running a race, running a race, yeah. running a, a, a long distance race, yep. and running a um, a short distance ra race, a, a, a sprint. That's right. Yeah, so, so, you know, with all this stuff, you know, and the history, like I said, them Jews back there, they knew the history, like we know the history today, you know, this is the reason why this is written. You know, they, they, they basically uh, pushed those Israelites out the box, so to speak. They said, look, you, you guys are out of the way. We're, not, we're, we're the only ones that are, that are down with this, not, not y'all. So they pushed them out of the way. So this, that's why Paul had to come back and, and explain this to the Israelite foreigners. This is what he said. Romans 11 and 1. That's I right. say then, hath the Most High cast away his people. So he's telling them, he's making a point to them because they were feeling away because they knew that the, the, the Jews weren't accepting them. You know? Even though they were Israelites themselves. I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people? The Most High forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Those Jews, those Jews that rose up was born as being Jews. Their parents are Jews. Their great grandparents they can they can trace their line back to their father, grandfather, great grandfather, great great grandfather, and so forth. Even up into the name, going back a thousand years or more. Mm -hmm. All right, right. They, they they could do that. So when they saw them other Israelites, you know, not circumcising themselves, eating pork, addressing in the regalia of uh, the Greeks. Uh, the Greek games moving out of Israel and losing their religion, so to speak. They said, nah, man, we ain't dealing with you niggas. We ain't dealing with y'all. That's right. Y'all can't prove your nationality. Y'all can't prove Nah, y'all are just black Greeks. Yeah. That's what they didn't understand. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why the Apostle Paul said, avoid genealogies. I got it. I got it right here. This is a First Timothy chapter one verse four. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies. Because a lot of the Jews reckoned who they were by their endless Genealog genealogies. They had the uh, whose father was father because that was the custom. Yep. How do we know it was the custom? The book of Matthew, the first chapter, yep. it tells you of the genealogies of Yahweh Shai, yep. the father of this and the father of that and the son of this and the son of that. Right. So that was the custom. Right. So those Israelites scattered among the other nations. They didn't keep that custom because yep. they lost that custom. Yeah, and then during the time of Ezra and Nehemiah and them, there were certain men that couldn't reckon their genealogy, you know, for the priesthood. So they had to be put aside until a, a prophet rose up, somebody that could read the Urim and the Thummim, to be able to determine whether they were Israelites or not. But we don't need that back 2,000 years ago. We don't need the Urim, Urim and the Thummim. Right. It's the spirit. It. The spirit of, you hear the words of Yahweh Shai and it, and it enters into your mind and you say, yes. You, it resonates with you. That means that you're an Israelite. Because we don't need the Urim. The Urim and the Thurim is this, this word, this, 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 the spirit, the energy that, <laughs> that bonds us, you know? That's right. And, and then, and then to, you know, d during the time of Paul and even now, it, the, the uh, Israelite foreigners were standing by faith. They were being saved by faith. Exactly. You know, it wasn't because they were able to, to follow back that genealogy back in, in time. Because if they would try to if they would try to do that, they're not going to fight. They're not going to get that line back. And that's a foreshadowing of things to come. Now we're in a time when we can't trace our genealogy. None of us, none of you out there, can trace your genealogy and know exactly what fathers you are. And the, so technically, we're Gentiles. Yeah, waking up, going, waking back up to be in Israel. Um, <clears throat> it says here, 
Galatians 3 and 25, one of my favorite scriptures. Um, but after, uh, let me start at 24. Where, yeah, the Greeks. Uh, wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Yahweh Shai, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under schoolmaster, meaning once you come on a certain level in these scriptures, I don't have to remind you to do this and to do that. You're supposed to already know it, man. Okay? That's why, hey, we find out a guy committing adultery, brother, openly. We, he's got to go. Yeah, he got to go. go, man. Yeah, he's supposed to know better. That's right. And then we don't have women around us anyway, so how the hell can we commit the act of adultery? Yeah. You know, how can a man deal with your woman behind your back when you ain't got no woman around? That's right. All right? That takes care of that. That's the bud nipper. That's a waste of time, man. <laughs> Nips that in the bud. The woman bug. can't get it, man. You're wasting your damn time, man. Although there's certain women whose eyes are somewhat open, you know. Uh, <laughs> it says uh, 26. Uh, I'm 25 again. But after that, faith has come. We are no longer under schoolmaster. Now, they might use this to say, well, we don't got to keep the law no more. No, I don't got to tell you to keep this law, keep that law, and remind you to do this and do that. You're supposed to already know it. 26, for we are all the children of the Most High by faith in your house, Shai. 27, for as many of you as have been baptized into your house, Shai, have put on your house, Shai. 28, there is, there is neither Greek there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Yahweh Shai. And if ye be Yahweh Shai's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Because that promise was given to who? The, to, the children of Israel. So how did the Greeks get in there? Because the Greeks, those were Israelites. It had nothing to do with uh, being in slavery in the book of Malachi. Yeah. Okay? That nigga just pulled that right out of his ass because he was on the hot seat. But that's what they do. That's what these guys do, these other camps. They don't have the, un the perfect understanding, so they just pull shit right out of their ass. That's, you got a scripture? You got a scripture? Okay, you were back in Romans, right? You know, well, go just back. go back to Rome. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to think. There was another scripture I was trying to think of, but I can't think of it right now. Why are you getting that? I got another scripture. Ephesians. Ephesians. Hold up. Like another example while the apostles getting it is Zabak with that video. And the apostle, Elder Todd, just said he saw the video. The shit does make you mad. You, you see that, you, you know, the guy just pulled that shit right out of his ass. And I'm telling you something. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai ain't going to tolerate that shit too much longer, man. You're going to start zapping motherfuckers <laughs> to make an example. Yeah, because the reason why that's happening, too, is because, you know, you guys are denying the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, you're not standing behind that name. You're not uh, exalting that name. You know, you're pushing that name to the curb like it's nothing. So you're not holding the root, you know. You're not holding the, the, the this uh, the foundation, you know, of, of this whole thing that that keeps everything together. You know, you're just kicking it to the side and exalting Christ and, and Jesus and all that crap. You're not exalting the Most High in the, in the name of His Son. Ephesians two and eleven, the whole chapter is good, but Ephesians two and eleven, it says, uh, "Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles." Who is he talking to? The Israelites in Ephesus that followed the Gentile customs. Okay? It says, Wherefore, remember that, it, that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, in other words, you were uncircumcised, you were eating pork, you had a smooth face. And that's another thing in, in GMS, in Israel as a whole. You got guys, and I see this every goddamn day, Either they ain't got no beard on, on their face or they got the smallest beard, like they're trying to break a Guinness Book of World Record, yeah. the teeniest beard in the world. You can bet you need a magnifying glass to see that, to see. No, I don't, no, I don't use no razor. 
No, the, the, the 12 o'clock shadow, you know? The just after shade, uh, shave shadow. Um, it says, uh, um, I'll read again, 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles, who is he talking to? Israelites. Who's including it in, in this? Cornelius. Who else is including in this? The Greeks. In a uh,